this a ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Man, this a ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Man, this a ticket, talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it. For the biggest, that's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get okay, it. Okay, now this is where it gets crazy. Okay. When you back up, start turning it. Yeah, there you go. Bring it back on this side. There you go. There you go. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm, hold on a second. I'm going to get behind you so I can tell you when to stop. Okay, come on back. Good job. <laughs> so I gotta see where the connections are. You did good for your first time. This doing it with this one. This is our new home on wheels. <laughs> one thing that I love about Henderson State Park in Destin, Florida, is the privacy that you have with the sites. And the sites are very spacious. Hey y'all, how's it going? <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. We are at Henderson Beach State Park in Destin, Florida. And as you can see, we now have our new travel trailer. <laughs> so I will give y'all a tour of the inside in just a moment, as soon as we get everything set up. This is our Forest River Gray Wolf Limited. It is a 2024. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like with the slide closed. As you can see, you still have room. Like if you wanted to pull over on side of the road or something, you would be able to um, still come in and sit down if you stopped at Walmart overnight. And the bathroom has a door that leads outside. Okay, I'm 
I'm gonna take y'all through the back door. There's two doors. This is the back door is actually to the bathroom, which is great because if you pull over somewhere and you need to use the restroom, you can use the restroom. This is the shower. The toilet. This is the cabinet. We just stopped, so um, I have to straighten it up a little bit, but things kind of got moved around as we were driving. I have to set everything up. And this is really neat. When you turn on the hot water, it shows you how hot the water is when it's heating up so that the water will not get too hot. Um, whatever the temperature is set at, um, it, it'll keep going until it gets to 123 degrees. Okay. And uh, we also have storage at the bottom. So you have two doors. This is one door. And this is the other door. So I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like before I open it up. Now, we're gonna open up the slide. Is everything clear on? Let me check. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna show y'all how much room we have. And when you're opening up the slide, all you have to do is push the button for slide out. And once the slide is all the, way, all the way out, it stops. And then you can see how much more room that we have now that the slide is closed. Um, this is a bunkhouse because we got one for the grandkids. So there is space there. And what we're doing now is just using it for storage. But it does have a curtain um, to give privacy. And there's a ladder to get up to the top bunk. Um, I can actually, we're using it for storage right now, so, but I can actually fit inside of this bunk. It has a light in it, and it also has a phone charger. And when you crawl into the bunk, so there's space. There's space for me to sit up um, as well as lay down. Now I'm only 5'3", so like if you're tall, you probably wouldn't be able to fit in there but it's gonna be perfect for the girls. Um, we have the U-shaped diamond set with the zebra blinds. They call them zebra blinds because you can peek through or you can close it where the sun doesn't go through them at all. And um, it has storage on both sides, lots of storage. And both sides come all the way out for storage. And this actually turns into a bed. So you have enough sleeping space for one, two, three, four, five, six people. This is the couch. This couch also lays down. How do you pull the couch out, babe? Let me do it right quick for you. Okay. There you go. See, and the couch makes a bed as well. This is the pantry. Nice pantry, nice deep pantry for storage and this is our first time really just taking it out so you know we're, we're still getting used to it but this is the refrigerator also very deep uh, we're gonna be here for three days so <laughs> we have a lot of food snacks and everything because we don't want to have to leave although we're in Destin and we're right across the street from a super Walmart which is great if we do have to leave and um, this is a 50 inch TV Actually, it only was supposed to fit a 40 inch TV based upon where the grooves were set. But Philip <laughs> came up with some kind of contraption and he was able to um, put a board or something back there. And so we're able to have a nice size television. We also have a fireplace that, um, does that turn colors? Yeah. It, it has the LED lights and it also actually works and warms up. Here, let me turn it on for you. Okay. And um, 
the bed now the bedroom i don't like that you can't really walk around it the bed is all the way up against the um the door but one good thing about it is is that we have our own side it's held together with a snap so you can close the door and that's how it looks when the door is closed so you do have your privacy and um the blanket and pillow cases came with the trailer so we haven't changed that out yet um the other trailer that we had we had pictures and wallpaper and everything we're not going to do all of that <laughs> but it's very deep closet closet is very deep and you have the mirrors and we also have space up here and then he has his side which he can walk in on this side with space to hang your clothes. And we also have more storage up here at the top. These um, cabinets, everything is like really, really secure. They lock, they snap lock in place. So it won't be a lot of moving around. We have the, I think this is like, it's called the farm, the farm faucet. Um, this contraption here when you put your cup on there it cleans your cup out um we have it came with the drainer and a cutting board and there's the sink and we have those cabinets you can see through the um the cabinets the microwave is actually an air fryer and a conviction oven and um we have the stove top. Um, I'm not even sure how to lift this up. I haven't really been using any of it. But anyway, the glass lifts up. <laughs> we have this drawer here for our silverware, trash. We also have some storage down there up under the bottom. Oh, there's also storage up under here. So it's a lot of storage space. And also, I'm gonna go out of the front door. Oh, there's the fireplace. I found the remote. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns different colors and it actually does heat up. Our brother-in-law, Nate, bought us that when we got our other trailer. When we first got that trailer, he bought us that. Um, making memories one campsite at a time, Warren family. And we love that. So we had to put it in this trailer as well. We also have an outdoor kitchen. With the refrigerator an ice maker a shower and a grill and it also has like um another thing that sits on top where you can do like stir fry and stuff like that and we're gonna have some philly uh, cheese philly steaks cheese, yeah. so he's gonna be able to make some of that and um there's the awning. We'll pull the awning out and I'll show y'all how it looks at night. And we have the bike rack. It has our bikes on there. Oh, he has it all strapped down so you can't see the bikes right now. But there's also, here's the connections and the slide. And we have another shower back here as well. Where, um, this is a shower with the hot and cold water so like if you come from the beach you can clean your feet but yeah so that is our trailer and we are at henderson beach state park and it is absolutely beautiful out here philip's getting set up for later on tonight <laughs> and um the weather is beautiful it's like 68 degrees and this is our scenery for the next couple of days oh at night y'all have to see we have it's like a blue ambience light and it's really nice you probably can hear the um helicopter going across they do helicopter tours here because we are right next to the beach as well so um we will be going to the beach a little bit later to fish i don't know if we're going to surf fish today i'm sure we will surf fish while we are here but anyway, um, that's the tour. I just wanted to show y'all our new home on wheels. And um, I look forward to sharing our experiences with you guys. So 
please like this video and if you have not subscribed yet if you are interested in this type of content be sure and subscribe i'm a little winded we've been trying to get everything set up <laughs> and um so yeah i will get back with you guys later I mean, they're small, but I think they'll work. I think they... What do y'all think about these little things? We uh, ordered some. <laughs> I think they're too small, babe. You think they're too small? I think they look ridiculous. They, um, they fold up, though. Show them how they fold up, babe. I mean, they're okay for folding up. They're really convenient because but, um, you I'm, can fold them up and store them. You can even store stuff inside of them. <laughs> It may be okay since it's just portable and we can just put them behind the yeah and then we can just stick them behind the sofa so they don't take up like they that. don't take up a lot of room so i yeah. think we just go ahead and keep them what you think yeah i mean Are i think they'll work yeah. well i mean the size is kind of perfect let me see how much room we have huh? hold over i'm gonna see if we can sit in here together okay so i got these footstools for us both to have something to sit down on. My feet is ashy. Y'all excuse my feet. <laughs> Babe, what I'm trying to figure out, and I want anybody to comment below, if they can tell me, do they make or sell a base that raises up higher? To even make it, I guess, make it even with the couch, love seat. Uh, I, think I don't know. Fine. If it's perfect. The wife me. like it, then I guess we're okay with it. It's fine. But still, if you know, let us know. <laughs> anyway, well. let's make it happen. Too short. Oh, well, see, I have shorter legs. <laughs> that look crazy. I, I need to raise legs. up higher. Yeah, I have shorter legs, so it works for me. Uh, but anyway. Anyway, we'll see. Let's go sit outside and... Uh, Oh, I just love the smell of camping, being outside in nature. Sit out here and chill. Oh, this is the awning. Oh, turn on the lights for the awning. Oh, it's too soon. It's too soon. Let me turn it on later. Okay. Got the cherry chunks. Oh, barbecue cookie. Oh, yeah. Let's see what this is about. I'm going to make it um, smell like cherry wood yeah it's like a cherry flavor like a smoke i guess i don't know i've never tried but we're gonna see what it's about okay let's make it happen i should have wet these first but they'll be okay so tell me babe are you happy <laughs> am i happy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i am so happy i just love being out in the woods and just oh man i needed this so much so blessed so grateful so thankful i mean i never would have thought that this would be my life i am so happy i am yes <laughs> so we're about to have us some philly cheesesteaks that's yeah, what you're making yeah, I'm just... on the grill all right sounds good you have your seasonings yeah okay cool Have us some Philly cheese steaks. Just let that start heating up. So, babe, you ask me, I'm gonna ask you. Are you happy? Absolutely. <laughs> We're just enjoying life, doing what we're supposed to do in life. Relax. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> Up under my blanket and get coffee. The nature seasoning, that's the seasoning that my grandmother used to use all the time to cook with. It don't, it's not salty. That was the only thing that she used was that nature seasoning. Yep. Alright, I'm coming in here. I'm going to wash my hands now. Just going to cut up some vegetables, babe. Okay. You know how we do.
that's one thing about going camping he does the cooking and i do the chilling okay <laughs> that's the beauty of going camping it gives me a chance that i have to cook which i don't really be cooking like so, that anyway but uh anyway so what's the model babe i cook you chill i'll take it <laughs> <laughs> i'll take it <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my wine together. Man, this is the life, man. I am not playing. I have missed this. Oh my gosh. So much. I, I really have so to. So much. Oh, I missed this so much. This right here, cheap, very cheap wine. Uh, Fruscato, but it is delicious. Okay, it will hit the spot. Turn on some lights. Oh, thanks. But this right here, this one right here, this one right here, <laughs> this is bomb. It is. It's good. It's too big for the wine rack, bro. Pour me a glass. Yeah, it's up there. Up here at the top? Mm-hmm. I don't see it. No, it's in there. It's, I got it hidden so it wouldn't... You had to look around for it. I got it hidden so it wouldn't burn. I love this. I know. <laughs> I love it too. Don't oh, yeah. have it any other way. ring on the damn cruise it was time to upgrade anyway but i'm just saying <laughs> i just got this stirring it up i'm supposed to be chilling <laughs> okay. i think i hear some critters in those woods There's some critters out there. I hear some critters. <laughs> I hear some critters in the woods. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. I'm like going to put that little fire right there. Start that's there. what I said. Oh, that's going to be nice. This is what we've been missing. I know. It's been too long. It's been what? Over a year? Yeah. Oh my God. I missed it so much. Being out in nature. Mm-hmm. Great place to manifest out in nature. 
<laughs> Time to step it up. Next level. <laughs> it's a little chilly out here. <laughs> I had to pull my chair up too. <laughs> Oh my Especially god. Cold too. It's such a busy. such they a vibe. Oh your beer. Yeah, they not really it takes a while for it to get cold. I just turned it on. Mm. Well I took me a little gummy. So I'm about to zone out. Get my wine. Give me some good sleep tonight. Oh my god, the best sleep is when you're out in nature. The best sleep. Even though we're in a camper, it's still the best sleep ever. Mm. Oh man, look at that cheese. Oh man, that is <laughs> so bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to happen. Oh, it smells amazing. I keep sound like I'm hearing something over there in them bushes. You think that's enough? I think that's enough cheese on cheese. Oh yeah, that's enough cheese. Definitely a vibe out here. Rainbows, my breath, make me wild. Sorry, y'all. I had already started Found making my sandwich. Um, so I had put me some cheese on there, which is some cheese melted in there. And I put a little bit of this steakhouse balsamic vinaigrette dressing on it. So we're going to taste it and see what it's talking about. Okay, here we go, y'all. Mmm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. That is delicious. Mm, mm. It tastes like it came from one of them Philly shops. So the cheese takes off. I just wanted to show y'all the ambiance in here. How it has the blue lights all around. <laughs> and we're sitting here chilling. Um, watching a movie with the fire going. And heat actually comes out of the fireplace. So it feels really good in here. But anyway, I just want to show y'all the ambiance of the blue. Why did I even start on these um, Girl Scout cookies? <laughs> these Girl, Cal Girl Scout cookies. You said it's called the munchies. <laughs> What's that? They so Delicious, dude. So delicious. Did we find her phone yet? No, but we got a ping on her on it. We've been calling. Nothing. Drown out the rain, but will it make sense? 
still at Henderson Beach State Park and I'm about to take a walk this morning I was just gonna take you guys along with me the plan for today is probably to do some bike riding hopefully some surf fishing and some pier fishing but um, it just depends on you know how we're feeling but right now I'm going to take a walk and um, down to the beach let's go I'll be back. I'm going to go take a walk. Good morning. Mm -hmm. This is the bathhouse where the restrooms are. Closest one to our campsite. And they have like washers and dryers. Have a green flag today. So that means that the waters are calm. It's gonna take us a walk. One thing that I like about Henderson State Park is because you can take a trail right down to the beach and um, you have Loop A, Loop B, Loop C, and Loop D, and all of them lead to the same trail. So, I'm gonna walk. That wasn't a long walk at all. We're already here. We have showers. Cool. We're already here. Oh, wow. 
this is why this is one of my favorite places to camp because it's so beautiful I love Henderson Beach State Park for this very reason that I'm about to show you guys look at that Gorgeous that is. There's the helicopter that gives tours. So beautiful out here. So beautiful. And this is just walking from the campsite. Gorgeous. That's <laughs> where I walked from. And we're right on the beach. <laughs> that amazing. green flag today. Isn't that gorgeous? So blessed. Beautiful that it is, oh my goodness. So pretty. How the water is. <laughs> so amazing.
supposed to have been a chilly day, but it's actually so I am at Henderson Beach State Park and it is absolutely amazing. It's so beautiful out here today. Um, I just came back from taking a walk and I'm about to go back to the campsite. It's a really short walk along the pier. I'm about to go back to the campsite and maybe ride the bikes this morning before we do a little fishing. But I was just wanting to show y'all how close it is from my campsite to the beach. And it's absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. Even the walk back is gorgeous because look at these sand dunes. So even the walk back from the beach is gorgeous. <laughs> but yeah, Henderson Beach State Park. This is one of my favorite favorite Florida State Parks. And we're already back. If you're in Loop C and D, it's a little bit further down, but A is very close. But most of the sites are private. And just like that, we're back. <laughs> oh my goodness, babe. The water is perfect. We may not catch no fish, but it will be nice just sitting there chilling. <laughs> so we're going to ride the bikes first. Okay. Oh, <sighs> this contraption that Philip then came up with because <laughs> he was talking about that um, the stool was not high enough for him to sit on. So he went to Walmart. Let's see what you then uh, came up with. <laughs> well, right now I'm not finished with it, though. I need to clean the edges around that and put molding around it. But anyway, it works. Turn and it over. Turn Look, it well, I'm showing the difference of how two zeds like that. So if I he went in and got off, some board cut and some right pegs, here. and he got a velcro. <laughs> velcro. <laughs> well, I'm telling off. you, you get you a man from the country, <laughs> and it's still storable. Take this, and we store it all in the back like we normally do. <laughs> all good. Oh, well, that'll no work. No problem. That'll work. You came up with it. You said you was going to come up with something. Hey, it works, right? Yep, it did. <laughs> as long as it worked, that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, let's go ride some bikes. Okay. okay. We got us some new electric bikes. I haven't rode mine yet, so I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to have to give it a, a a try before we start rolling. But this rack also came with the trailer. It lifts up, but Philip put the bike racks on there just to keep the bikes on there. So we won't have to keep taking them off and on. But yeah, so we're going to take us a bike ride. and It's a beautiful day to do it. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful out here. It says that it's 59 degrees, but it do not feel like no 59 degrees. Like, I think I'm going to have to take my long sleeve shirt off. 
and this is the motor for the bike it attached on these aren't no high dollar fancy ones what what we pay for these babe i don't remember i have to look and see but we got them on amazon i know they were less than 500 a piece yeah probably three somewhere around there. three something yeah but it has where you can see how fast you're going and um how much time you have what is this lock thing right here it adjusts the hydraulics oh okay Oh, so it locks on there. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Alrighty, y'all. Do what? I'm getting you set up. Okay. Turn there. Come up here. Now make sure it don't take off before I um. It ain't gonna take off, is it? I need it to be off, and then I turn it on. I don't want it to take off on me. Okay. All you gotta do is give it gas. Give it gas. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Raise your hand, raise your hand. The throttle is right there. <laughs> okay, that's the throttle. Okay. Oh, Lord, y'all. I hope I don't fall. I haven't tried this out before. <sighs> okay. Okay. Wait a minute. It took off too fast. So, do I need to set the speed for the pedal assist? It took off too fast. Do I need to set the speed? Mm -hmm. What do you have yours set on? Uh, I got mine set on one. Let me Is it one, this thing right here? You said it's going too fast? Well, it just took off on me. Okay, this is on seven right okay, here. Okay, that's fine. Well, because, yeah, I know, because just now I was trying to go and it took off on me. Okay. All right, y'all. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. I, I might need to just. I might need to just drive normally. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to fall. Okay. Okay. There you go. I don't know. I got to get used to this. I probably don't need to be on the main road. While I'm trying to get used to this, um, let me get over in the bike, in the bike lane. Ah! Okay, I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. Okay, I don't want to fall. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Don't don't go in front of me now. I might not be able to stop. <laughs> you driving forward. Okay. Okay. There's some people coming on bikes. Okay. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me stop. Okay. Let me. Uh, <laughs> it's my first time riding. I gotta get used to it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and this is not our first electric bikes, but it's been over a year since I was on the other one and I fell on the other one, so I'm a little nervous driving this one and this one has more thrust it has more power behind it so yeah okay all right we rolling now should have been like those people had a, a helmet on too <laughs> And that's where you have to dump. So how do you like these bikes versus the other ones? I like it. 
Yeah, I like it. it. It's definitely a lot more power behind it. Yeah, they do go a lot faster. Yeah, they go a lot faster. There's more power behind it, so. Okay, I'm rolling now. I'm rolling now, y'all. <laughs> we rolling now, y'all. We rolling. We rolling. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I missed this. Oh my God. <laughs> I had missed this so much. It's been over a year. And, um, you know, we had a 22 foot trailer and we sold it. But when we sold it, we sold our kayak, we sold our bikes. And we were like, we were done camping. But after not doing it for a year, oh my God, it feels so good to be back out here in nature on the bikes. And I'm going to show y'all where riding our bikes over to the beach so I'm gonna show y'all that once we get over here beautiful that is <laughs> just ride your bike along the beach we don't have the bikes that you can put actually on the beach but Isn't that beautiful? I don't care what nobody say. There is no water in Florida as beautiful as the Emerald Coast. Really, I don't know anywhere, really, because even in the Caribbean, although the water is blue and pretty, there is a lot of times it's rocky. This sand out here is just, it's so soft. Like you can just walk right out on, you don't even have to have any water shoes on because it's not rocky at all call it sugar sand beaches so gorgeous so gorgeous I don't know what happened to Philip oh, disappeared those sand dunes look like snow so pretty See if we can find Philip. I don't know what happened to him. That's the overflow parking lot. If you get here before your campsite is ready, you can park right there and go enjoy the beach. That's the dump station. If you don't have, uh, they don't have sewer here, so you have to dump after. It's a dump station. We were supposed to be taking a bike ride together, but Philip has disappeared. So I'm going back to the campsite to see if something might have happened, if he might have fell or something, because. I haven't seen him for a little while, ever since we got up by the beach. So he might've went by the beach to check it out for surf fishing, but I don't know. I'm gonna go back to the campsite and see if I can find him. We are in loop A and we're in campsite 13. Back here like I thought. Where did you go? What happened? I was working on my, my, my pedal assist wasn't working. 
Uh -huh. I pulled over and I started working on it. I thought maybe you're gonna come back and wait for me or whatever. And I turned around, you was gone. <laughs> I drove down to that pavilion, I didn't find you. I rode down to the other pavilion, I didn't find you. I was I had went all the way down on the right hand side and, and I didn't see you anymore. So I was like, let me come back and see if I can find him. <laughs> I thought maybe you went over to the beach to see how it was as far as for surf fishing. And then I'm like, I drove over on the other side. And I'm like, no, I don't no, see him. I, drove, I was driving around looking for you. <laughs> I was like, let me come back just in case there's something happened. Nope, well, bad. anyway, um, we're back at the campsite. Um, Philip was having issues with his bike. So we're probably getting ready to go to the pier and see if we can get some fishing in. So if y'all would like to see that, come along with us. I hope y'all enjoyed the bike ride. <laughs> I know I sure did. Is it spring break? Must be. Oh, that water looks so pretty. A lot different than in January. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. We can go down a little bit more. The cold front came in. That foot pucker punch is bomb. I'm definitely gonna get some hot. Oh, they got some uh, seafood and alligator gumbo right there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is anybody working in there? Hey, folks, how are y'all doing? Hey, how are you? Doing great. My name is John Tim Caribbean. But they're not as good as they used to be. It's like it don't have the flavor. It was too strong. Is that better? Much better. It looks a lot thicker. Mine's look thinner. Mine's got more liquor. Yeah, it tastes like a food pie. It sure tastes like straight liquor to me. Mm. Alligator seafood gumbo and hot crab dip. Mm. <laughs> Beer can stay in. We just take the stuff out of the refrigerator, which would be a yeah. 
Oh, they, they've gotten a little bigger. Yeah, they've gotten a little. bigger when you come down. Yeah, they've gotten a little bit of size on them from the last time we were here. Look at the little babies. Look at the little babies. Here's your little baby alligators. Oh, hey, babies. <laughs> hey baby <laughs> Hey baby Oh he didn't fell to the bottom <laughs> He was sleeping He fell to the bottom <laughs> Philip wanted to drive the truck around to the beach to surf fish, but I told him it's not that far. We're already at the pier. <laughs> so pretty back here. We're already. I told you it looks so much better coming from this area <laughs> than just driving up in your car. Walking over these dunes. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Told you it's not that far of a walk. Yep, I told you. All the people that are not campers are on the other end of the beach. So they have this area just for the people who are camping. This area is set up exclusively for the campers. You can come to the park, but if you come to the park and you're not camping, then you're gonna be down at that other end. I don't know if you can see all of those people down there. But this end is just for the people who are camping. So you kind of have like some privacy on the beach. When you're camping. It's cool. You can see those people way down there. It's a little windy out here, but hopefully we can catch some fish so we can do a catch, clean, and cook tonight.